Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome to this coming week's reading. For this reading I am using the coffee cup and then I'll be drawing out cards towards the end. This is the lovely Gilded Tarot deck that I have here. Also please do like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I would truly appreciate that. And thank you to all who do and for my channel members. I cannot thank you enough. I truly do appreciate you. I'm so grateful. I love you all so much from the bottom of my heart and I pray for every single one of you. Truly thank you. Okay, Aquarians, let's see what we have for you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, immediately random, very random specific message that I get. Something about a recipe secret ingredient that you put in some soup or something that makes it so delicious. May I know this sounds, by the way, for those of you <laughs> just this is the first time listening, um, this happens. But... Uh, we're like for immediately to get a, a very specific message very there's something here for you that's very important so a secret ingredient maybe you're just really good at cooking and you don't give away your secrets um so yes i get um you are there's a helping hand um you know there's somebody around you and it, it could be vice versa as well you don't necessarily call out for help, but this person senses it and then you hear from them. But also I do get it's the other way around. It's like you can sense your friend or somebody close to you needs help and you approach them, you know. But there is something uh, that you are being called to do to help somebody out. Um, I also see some sort of forgiveness here from someone asking you for, for, um, the forgiveness. And I do see you accept all is forgiven and so forth, but I don't see you getting any closer to them. You're just ready to move on. Um, like book closed, you know, final chapter. There's a final chapter here. There's no more kind of, okay, let's start from the beginning. It's a final chapter and it is end of the end of the end, end of story. Um, there is your thought process is something I see here where you're like, this is the time to live. This is the moment to live. And you are grabbing, um, you know, any good opportunity that you see, you're, you're, you're grabbing it, you're taking it. And there is a sense of fulfillment when you do this. You, you've you already fulfilled something, even if you don't uh, get so much out of it, let's say materially. But what you feel spiritually, you know, emotionally, mentally um, makes you bigger and stronger and richer in that way. But I do see, you know, your finances growing I do see your finances growing. I do see abundance also. Um, there has been, I see something about uh, struggling to keep up with the time or with deadlines or time maybe, you know. Maybe you struggle to get into work at the right time or uh, something like that. Um, or you always miss the train. Um, so... It's like there's some sort of adjustment where that's also going to change. There's more of a mindfulness happening here. Um, mindfulness, awareness when it comes to uh, timekeeping. Um, there is uh, some situation problematic where you will spot what the problem is it's like you're going to the root of the issue here you're spotting the problem you and 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 someone else um and by having that awareness from them and you um things are sorted out a lot quicker as well which is good it's like if you if you were kind of in conflict with someone you may end up being really good friends believe it or not it may not seem like it right now but you come to some sort of common ground you solve this thing together you know it, it could lead to something very very good for both of you 
there's a nostalgia coming in and just kind of remembering certain things that make you smile, that make you emotional in a good way. And there is something here that I do see. I'm sorry if this is um, a little bit personal, but I do see here, Aquarius, that for those of you that um, have uh, a parent in the, in the spirit world, especially a father figure, that they're very proud of you. They're very proud of you. That's something that's come through quite strongly. So, um, yes, just know that they're proud of you and there's a lot of sweetness there as well, a lot of sweetness. Um, and something feels very settled and calm and and don't worry about certain things. You know, some things are happening behind the scenes and it's it's fixing itself and things that you felt like you could have fixed and you, you, you couldn't at that time, it's already been dealt with, so you don't need to worry about it. I really hope that makes sense. Um, and you should also be really proud of yourself. You have a winning formula here. And I, I started out by talking about that ingredient and whatever you make is absolutely delicious, but there's like a secret ingredient to the recipe. And <laughs> I don't and we're ending now with this winning formula. You you have something that really works for you. Whatever it is that you do, that you practice, that you work, that you, you speak of, there's something that really works for you, a method, you know, um, and and uh, you're up for a challenge as well. You just know that whatever you put your mind to, you can do, you can achieve greatly as well. Um, there's something here that you like to go by the book, but also get creative. Hmm. And also, don't worry, your mind is going to be put at ease with something that you were not sure sure of or caused you stress. Your mind is going to be put at ease. You're good. You are good. I like this very much for you. All right. Let's see what the cards have. Uh, Aquarius. Aquarius. Hmm. Uh, there's something deep. Deep talks. Deep connection. Something you're going, you're going really, really deep. Uh in a situation or with someone. Ooh, the four of wands. The four of wands. The four of pentacles and the judgment card. All right. Ooh, four of wands, four of pentacles, judgment. Okay. <laughs> hmm. You, um, want to keep things very steady and sturdy and keep something very close to your chest whatever it is that you feel is necessary there is something that i see you're needing to possibly give up that i don't that's and but here with the four of wands you know it shows that there is that steadiness there is also i get protection with the four of wands you start out you know very um very very strong a strong energy around you something that you've built up and you want to keep um protected and you you also play your cards uh close to your to your chest um but the judgment tells me that there's something that perhaps would be there's something that is unnecessary that you can give up in order for you to free up your time and to give more space and to to be able to enrich your life very interesting message that i'm getting with these cards and that's not the usual meaning but that is definitely what something that i'm getting something is going to be very clear to you and and realize that you don't always need to keep um things very tight and you know time to kind of relax and let go of certain control will do you a lot of good the longer you keep this way you may cause harm but you know um I do see you're going to let your hair down. Um, and it's also something's coming through that's going to be very clear and positive um, in terms of the, the change in direction that you are looking to, to, to take. Oh, the two of ones. <laughs> the change of direction that you're... Look at this. This is it. The seven of cups. Here we go. 
you know, um, you, you make a decision that's for the best, even if it, if you have to sacrifice something, but you gain a lot more from that afterwards. Seven of Cups are all these opportunities, you know, uh, facing you and you pick the right one. You don't want to go with something that's too kind of airy fairy or, you know, that's too good to be true or whatnot. Um, you have a good strong mind and can see very well like you know trust your intuition trust your gut here uh but yes many doors opening for you many doors opening for you here with the two of ones you have it something is going to be very crystal clear that's what i get crystal clear there's a knowingness there there is something that you feel safe and whichever way you go you're destined to reach your aim you feel like this is your true path there's a yes answer also there is something of if you have negativity around you it's it's going away it's going away there is something that's being absorbed and allowing you to walk freely into this the hierophant the hierophant i get here with the hierophant you or your um uh, believe believe in what you are receiving believe it believe in what you are receiving i do get long talks serious talks something that you perhaps going to somebody for advice to get you out of um, some issue oh that's the help that we were seeing in the in in the cup and that's gonna really kind of solidify you, your situation where you headed to and it 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 this is the answer where it's like yes there is a new commitment in your life for you the way you are headed you're committed to it and again i get you're very very safe and the uh, the truth also will always rise up here and there is something of, of um, you, you're not going to have phony or fake love. It, there's real love. It does not have to be romantic. I'm not necessarily seeing romantic. Yes, it, of course it, it can be. But this is like, you know, um, something that's very, very true, very real. There's an answer that you get given, the answer that you want, that you've been wishing for as well, your desire. I love this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Aquarius, so much for being here. I really hope that this was helpful. And please do let me know. I appreciate every single one of you. Please do take care. And until next time.